Hey guys, welcome to or back to my channel. It's Sarah Elizabeth here and I'm back at it again with another video. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about Nutri Gain and my review on it, how I feel about it. Is it good? Is it bad? We are going to see. We're going to hop right into it, but before we do, be sure to like um, and subscribe to my channel means the world to me and turn on the notification bell so you guys can be notified every time that I do upload a video and also welcome to all my new subscribers I've been noticing that my subscriber count has been going up and I'm so happy and excited about that so welcome guys I'm Sarah Elizabeth if you don't know already okay so we're going straight into the pros of this stuff First pro is it contains maca root. If you know me, you know that I take maca root supplements. I have one right here that I need to take. Got these off Amazon. Um, I'll have that link down below. But yeah, first thing, it contains maca root. I already take maca root and it helps. It's like a natural uh, appetite enhancement. It uh, comes from a plant, so it's all natural. And number two is that this does follow FDA guidelines. I'm, yeah, and it's FDA approved. So on the bottle, it says manufactured at an FDA registered facility. So that's wonderful. Compared to a Pediman, a Pediman was not FDA approved, and they had ingredients in there that were horrible for your body. So that takes me on to my next pro, which is that you won't have to worry about any type of, you know, side effects coming from taking the product, like long-term long -term side effects that could come from taking a Pediman. You don't have that with this because of the fact that, like I said, then that ingredient is not in there. Those bad ingredients aren't in there. And um, yeah, it's crazy because I didn't even know that taking a Pediman, I didn't realize that the effects it could have on like your insides, on your intestines, or like your, I think it was, they were talking about the kidney, not the kidney, maybe the liver, something. <laughs> but you don't have to worry about that, see? Because you're not taking a Pediman, you're taking Nutrigain now. Those are really all the pros I have for it. Um, oh, another pro is that it doesn't make you sleepy. I start this on and off, and I have not gotten sleepy yet from it. So that's like a major plus because I hate being sleepy. Like. I don't know, during the day at least, I mean, I love to sleep at night, but during the day, I want to be up, I don't want to miss a beat, a second of anything, you know, I don't know, I just feel like I'm wasting my day when I take naps, so with this Nutrigain, you don't have to worry about that, you don't get sleepy, um, or really any of the side effects that you got from a Pediman, um, <clears throat> Like the jittery feeling or like the anxiety feeling that Pediman gave you, you don't get that with this. Um, what else did a Pediman do? Made you kind of sluggish. I don't feel sluggish with this, and I guess because of the maybe the maca root too that's in it, um, it kind of helps with your energy as well. That's what I'm thinking is kind of helping. I don't know, counteracting like the sleepiness. I don't know, because maca root, if you don't know, does like I said, um, work with increasing your energy levels and whatnot naturally. So that is great. Now on to the cons. The cons are as follows. Number one con, and the one thing that everybody wants to know, does it work as well as a pediment? No, it doesn't. I'm gonna be honest, this stuff does not work as well as a Pediman and when you're trying to gain weight you're not trying to a lot of people aren't trying to take that slow route they're trying to see instant results like if I'm spending money on a weight gain um supplement I want to see like instant results like everybody else you know I don't want to wait like a month before I see any type of results um 
So yeah, if you're taking it by itself, you are going to experience slow results. Now everybody is different, so um, I'm not sure how this product works for other people. I'm just going based off how it worked for me and just giving you, you know, my experience, like I said. So um, that's the main con that I have for this, um, that you don't see results that fast. You do start to increase your appetite a little bit more and more, um, but just it just doesn't do it for me, but I'm still taking it anyway. I wanna see how um, I'm feeling on the fourth bottle and if it's worth buying again. And they do have pills, so I might try the pills next to see if the pills work a little bit different or a little bit better than the syrup, um, but yeah. And then my second con, I only have two cons. Um, the second con is the smell slash taste. I don't know why they, okay, it doesn't taste like a pediment. A pediment, I was good with taking a pediment. A pediment wasn't that bad. A pediment could just go like, real quick and be done but this right here it has a strawberry flavor to it and i'm just confused as to why they did that because <laughs> it doesn't taste that well it doesn't taste that good um and i'm just not impressed by it i'm disgusted like i have to literally i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna take a shot right now like it's it's strong it's potent but like this I have to like talk myself into doing it like that's how bad I, it tastes to me like and I'm not I'm the type of person like I can get stuff down if it means you know gaining weight <laughs> but this just smells bad it's just oh here we go In my opinion, it tastes worse than any type of cough syrup. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's just the, I just don't know why they did strawberry flavoring. Like that does not help at all. Um, but yeah, those are the two cons that I have for it. I honestly can't say too much about it. So when I started Nutrigain, I still had a little bit of a Pedamin left over. So I was taking a Pedamin as well as a Nutrigain. So in the beginning, um, my appetite was already there, so I didn't see much change. And once I stopped taking the Pediman and switched over solely to Nutrigain, my appetite wasn't as high um, as it would have been if I was still taking the Pediman. So some say take it four times a day. I take it three times a day. I might up the intake and take four a day. I don't know. We'll see. It just tastes so bad. So I think I want to stick with three. Um, but yeah, other than that, oh, another another pro is that I didn't gain a tummy taking my Nutri-Gain. Did not gain a tummy. So that's good. Because <laughs> if you take a Pediman, you know that you will have a belly in the front and thick in the back, period. So it doesn't, even if you work out, you're going to have some type of, you know, bloating. You can work out with a Pediman, but you're still going to have some type of bloating. You're going to, your stomach's going to be bigger than what it normally is. But and that's just because you're eating more, so makes sense. Um, but yeah, those are all the pros, the cons that I have for this product. Um, let me know in the description box if you tried this product. It's newer out, so I know not too many people have had the chance to try it yet. But if you have, let us know your experience in the comments down below so that we can, you know, compare results and see because it might work for you it might not work for blah, blah blah the next person but it's just fun to compare results and see other people's experience with the product that you know we're interested in or using you know all that so yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys like and comment and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys